in our Gaddy Jamora First Encounters garden in the Middle Gardens at the Royal Botanic Gardens, Sydney. And I've come to look at this plant, Banksia spinulosa. There are over 170 species of Banksia and these very distinctive floral structures are icons of Australian flora. This one has a massive distribution. It grows all the way from Cairns down to Victoria. It usually grows on sandstone in heathland plant communities and rarely gets more than 1.5 metres tall. Like all Banksias, what we often think of as an individual flower is actually a collection of thousands of small flowers arranged around a central woody structure. And each flower has a very prominent as it matures female part, the style, but as the flower is younger, that's all bound up in a tube. The male parts of flower are also in that tube called the perianth tube, and the pollen is actually deposited onto the style. As that emerges above the rest of the tube, it presents the pollen to pollinators. And over time then the female part of the flower the stigma becomes receptive to receiving pollen. There are four subspecies of Banksia spinulosa and you get a lot of variation in the colour of that style so of that female structure emerging from the flower so it can be yellow it can be burgundy it could be red or brown the common name of this flower though is the hairpin banksia and that's because the style looks a little bit like a hairpin there's also variation in the way this species has evolved with fire. So some plants will have lignotubers, so they're dormant buds at the base of the trunk of the plant, and after a fire, the plant is able to regenerate from those lignotubers. In some examples of Banksia spinulosa, that lignotuber is absent, and the plant regenerates after fire from seed. So like all Banksias, as the flower starts to finish, it forms a woody follicle, a cone-like structure in which the seeds are embedded. Those seeds will be released after fire and in many species, the germination of the seed is improved by a chemical in the smoke from fire. They're really important food sources for all sorts of animals in Australia, particularly this one that flowers in winter. It's providing a vital source of nectar through the winter time to a range of invertebrates like stingless bees, European honeybees as well, but also to small mammals like pygmy possums and of course to birds. Honey eaters love them. Here in the gardens, they also get visited by rainbow lorikeets. So this is Banksia spinulosa or the hairpin banksia, and you'll find it in our Caddy Dramora First Encounters Garden at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney.